Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we trained our text classification model on uh, sample data, like uh, these five samples and tested on uh, a very small sample of uh, four segments. And also we looked at like uh, how zero uh, sort transfer learning uh, works, but it is like a very uh, small data set. In this video, we will extend our uh, uh, classifier to a real data set. So let's get into it. So we will download a data set uh, from Kaggle. So you can simply copy the link from here. I will add the links in our uh, video description as well. So you can look at it from there as well. So you simply go there. So if you don't have any account, uh, you need to uh, create one and then simply click on here like download and uh, it will simply download the data extract it and uh, copy it in our um, data folder in our uh, project okay now let's uh, load the data we will use a pandas library to load the data as well as process it a little like uh, removing duplicates or removing uh, data where some uh, rows have uh, empty uh, values so let's go ahead and uh, start with uh, loading the data first. Okay, so so let us say data df is equal to pandas. So you need to import it as well. So it is a CSV file. So let us have a look first. If you go there, so this is our spam data. So this is something like it has a category and message. So category is like ham and spam. And then we have some content uh, that is kind of some text. Okay. So let us load it and see like uh, how it looks in our data frame. Okay. So you simply say um, data folder. So you need to go back one and then simply say spam and simply uh, load the data okay and let us simply uh, print uh, the head of the data so let us look at it so you simply say data df dot head it will simply print us the like uh, initial few rows okay let us run and see it so you see so this is like indexing and then we have category and then we have message Okay, so let us do first thing like uh, remove duplicates and uh, empty uh, value uh, rows. Okay, so simply we will say data df dot drop na. So this will remove us. This will remove the rows where if any any column has a uh, empty values. Okay, so you can simply say in place is equal to true. So we won't uh, need to create any new data frame, okay? And uh, let us drop duplicates as well. Next, let us uh, rename these uh, column names. So this is mainly useful when we need to um, uh, change the data set. Okay, so simply we need to, uh, what we need to do is we simply need to say, data df dot rename okay and we can simply say columns is equal to it actually takes a dictionary so this is what we want to replace and uh, this is what we want to replace with so categories we can simply say labels And message, we can simply replace it with text. Okay, let us now see it. So now these two will be changed to uh, labels and uh, text. No, we actually need to say it in place is equal to true. Okay. Now this will uh, change these two labels and uh, this one message will be changed to text. 
Okay. So you see, and they are changed. Okay, that's good. Now let us, uh, so you see the labels are like strings, but this is not uh, what we need to train the model. So the model will accept uh, numeric values like labels 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So we need to change this as well, and we will use a label encoder from uh, uh, scikit library. So let us do that. So we will simply say L is equal to label encoder. And simply import it. And first let us fit it. So fit and simply we will use data df dot labels okay and let us transform it so data df labels is equal to le dot transform df dot label so what we did here we created a model like a label encoder and then we actually trained it to uh, trend with uh, the labels that we have which are like ham and spam okay and then we simply applied it on our labels and then uh, replaced the replaced this labels with the like numerical values okay now let us run and see like uh, now this column would be numbers 0 and 1 okay so let us see it you see okay now we have the data which is ready for training but before going ahead it is a, a good idea to split them into train and test okay so that we will train the model on train set and test on actual a separate uh, uh, data which actually we haven't used for training okay so let us do that as well so we will use a train test split from uh, scikit library again so we can simply say train test and then it will suggest us to train test split simply it will suggest us okay and what we need is we need uh, data df dot text and we need data df dot labels and we can stratify as well like uh, if we have a uh, imbalanced data it will um, it will uh, uh, train and test would be uh, in that ratio okay so let us say stratify into data df dot labels okay and let us set test size equal to 0.15 so 15 percent we will use as a test set and first we get train x and uh, test x and the next one is train y and test y okay you can also look at like what is the size of train and uh, test simply so we can simply say print train x dot describe simply we can say test x dot describe okay so it is like uh, it will tell us about this test uh, it will tell us about train and test uh, split what how much that is okay just run and see it so we are using like 4383 samples for training and 774 for testing okay okay so next what we need is a list of sentences for encoding okay and uh, tensor which is actually for labels okay so let us convert them into a list so simply what we do is we simply say sentences is equal to 
pin x dot to list that's it and simply we also say like uh, test sentences is equal to test x dot to list okay now we can simply remove this part which was from the last code okay and one more thing let us do is we need labels which is like training labels is equal to torch dot tensor and we simply say chain y dot to list so now this will result a tensor and then we have a test labels equal to torch dot tensor and test y dot to list so, and that's our data it is ready to be trained okay so now uh, in this case we will use the whole data like this is called batch gradient descent so we will pump the whole data in one batch and get the loss and update the parameters okay so in the next video we will talk about mini batch gradient descent where we will create a batcher in which we will get like pass like we want uh, uh, 20 samples in one batch instead of uh, using the whole data in one batch another case would be like uh, we can train like a single sample in uh, one batch and uh, update the model for each and every sample that is called a uh, stochastic gradient descent so we will see like uh, and and it is uh, recommended to use a uh, uh, mini batch gradient descent for these kind of tasks okay so let us train the model also let us add before going ahead let us add the accuracy prediction so that uh, we will get a proper number like how accurate our model is okay and instead of 10 updates let us say we want to train like 200 updates okay so as we are saying like uh, we will uh, train the model for whole data in one epoch so it will update just uh, once for one epoch okay so it's better to update at least uh, 200 times so that the model will learn something so let us add another thing here like how we can um, evaluate the model so we will get uh, f1 score and precision and recall for that okay so let us say this is our predictions and we will simply use a classification report that is again from scikit library and what it gives us is like a proper report for uh, uh, that particular uh, uh, test set so it will give us precision recall as well as accuracy also f1 measure so what it needs it it needs like predictions and uh, then it needs uh, labels sorry test labels okay and we can simply print the results okay okay so let us run and see like how it performs on real data okay we will uh, see like how it performs on zero sort like we will train on english and test on like hindi german and french but in this video we will test on like only a test set which is like we will train on english and test on english okay so let us see so it is encoding the sentences not too bad so 95 percent accuracy and for zero like uh, m it is even quite better or spam as well it, it works quite well okay 
so in this video we will stop here and in the next video we will create a batcher and uh, uh, train the model using mini batch gradient descent also we will look at it like how it performs on zero sort multilingual transfer like we will train the model on english only and test it on uh, another language let us say german or french okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care